If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Previously, we have analyzed the equilibrium of a rigid body by isolating it with a free body diagram and then applying the various conditions of equilibrium. In this topic, we will learn about another method of expressing the conditions of equilibrium based on the principle of virtual work. This method is based on the concept of the work done by a force and is more direct. Let us now learn about work done by a force. If a rigid body is subjected to a force F which causes an infinitesimal displacement dS, then the work done U by force F during the displacement dS can be given by U equals F cos theta into dS where theta is the angle between the direction of force and the direction of displacement. Thus, we can conclude that the work done by a force during infinitesimal displacement is equal to the product of the displacement and the component of the force in the direction of the displacement. We will learn about virtual displacement and virtual work. When a system of forces act on a rigid body in equilibrium, and the displacement of the body is zero, then no work is possible. But an imaginary infinitesimal displacement is assumed to be given to the body in equilibrium. Such a displacement is called as virtual displacement. The resulting work done by the forces on the body during the virtual displacement is called as virtual work. The symbols generally used for virtual displacement are delta x or delta y, for the linear displacement along x-axis and y-axis respectively and delta theta for an angular displacement. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.